What's up everybody, this is Brennan from Colton RV and we are at the 2022 New York International Auto Show at the Javits Center in the heart of New York City. Let's go take a look around at some of these displays. All right, so there's a really beautiful building here at the Javits Center, of course, and the first thing we're gonna see is a Ford exhibit. Really beautiful blue, Ford blue, of course. Like they have some vintage, some Mustangs. Nice blue carpet here to match the Ford. Oh, there's some nice little trucks. Looks like they have an electric F-150. Let's go take a look at that one. Look at the size of that truck, electric. That's amazing. A Ford van. Oh, looks like they have the Bronco over this way, branded pretty cool. Of course, outfitted with kayaks. That's a huff. <laughs> okay, and as we head back this way, we're going to get to Chevy. We'll go back this way, start back here. Work our way up and through. Wow, someone testing out a Bronco. Looks like we have some kind of conference or going on with you. Let's see what he's got. Available, it will be available and functional in about 200,000 miles of U.S. highway and Canadian highway here. But most importantly, you'll be able to use it even while trailering. It is a hands-free driving technology. But not only that, if it's trailering that you're after or not, it doesn't matter. So if you're in trouble, we want to make sure that we have the right truck for you. And of course, one of the big focuses of the show this year is electric vehicles, as we'll find out a little bit later on. And we get to the Colton RV display, which is down by the electric vehicle test track, where they have a number of electric vehicles from a number of different manufacturers um, that you can actually test drive and figure out what these electric vehicles are really all about, see how you know, comfortably they've made them handle now, whereas you know, way back when they were a little bit you know, jagged or inconsistent in the way that they would run, but they've really kind of perfected the process enough to make a Silverado and an F-150 electric as we've seen. And of course we have over here the Bolt, which is I think one of the original electric cars ever made, but they also have what looks like an electric Equinox and a Blazer over here, which is cool. Uh, Nissan wants to thrill us, it looks like. Does what does what you drive thrill you? Hmm. Let's find out, Nissan. Ooh, but first a Corvette. Let's take a look at the Corvette. <laughs> Beauty. And another one. I did a YouTube channel and I did a review and I drove Nice. Alright, now here's Nissan. Let's go. Check it out. Nissan Frontier. That's a nice truck. It's cool, sandy color. We've got a really cool kind of uh, intersection crosswalk display going on here in the woods. <laughs> so we've got crosswalks in the woods. Okay. And the resident Fox doesn't seem to be too angry with us. 
Yeah. Rock Creek. Yeah. That's cool. the first thing Becky told me when she flew. First, like, day of training, we put out our IDs to do something. Here it is. This is the Pathfinder Rock Creek. Got it all outfitted as such. Oh, no, you're okay, but excuse me. We have over here, it's Thrill Street. And it looks like we have another electric vehicle from Nissan. Oh, there's a line to see this one. Let's see what this one's all about then. Popular. The Nissan Z, oh my. Cool, all right, so that's it for right here. Let's uh, move along and go check out the other side. Yeah. Keep it focused away. Line to check out the Z, pardon me. And next looks like we'll have some Hyundai, Hyundai, however you pronounce it. People say it differently, I think. Let's check it out. All right, we see a cool kind of race car looking thing here with a nice spoiler. Really cool paint job. Awesome. Ah, F1 it looks like. Cool. Keep it moving here. Now we have the auto show. Gear center, souvenirs, everything you need with auto show memorabilia. Cool, here's some uh, more Hyundai's. That's a cool looking car. Really nice display here. The black and red and blue is sharp. Looks like they have some test drive games here. Lines along for that, of course. Cool, and then it looks now we're moving over to Subaru. Let's take a walk through the Subaru forest again. Everybody, Nissan was doing a forest, Subaru's got some forests. Oh, this is the high performance area. Let's start there. Oh yeah, then they have a whole walkway up back there, Subaru does, we'll check that out. WRXs. All right, so this is the Subaru, the motorsports portion, kind of the high performance area. And as we work our way over here, you'll see a really kind of incredible display. Okay, perfect, and there's an enter. So we'll go through this one the way that we're supposed to. Hi. Cool, this one's outfitted with the tent on top, all ready to rock, that's cool. We like that. This is pretty interesting. <laughs> the cave of sorts. Pretty interesting. Just different facts, recycle bits. Okay, another this bigger car. <laughs> They've got them parked all over the place just because they can, of course. Pretty cool looking. And over here, they have quite a large screen with the deck. Ah, here's some things that we missed at the back of, what is this, Chevy? Some vintage looking. Cool. Defender, an old school Mitsu. All right, let's go back over here to the Subaru. <clears throat> this is pretty sweet. Wow, let's probably go up there. Increasing energy efficiency and enhancing environmental stewardship for park visitors. Initiative 2, Outdoor Exploration. In an effort to help inspire a lifelong love of the outdoors, exploration and recreation, Subaru will be providing funding to improve accessibility to the national parks and foster more inclusive experiences wow. for all. Wow, quite the display. Go up, take a look. 
Nope. Okay. VinFast is over here. I've never ever heard of VinFast. This must be new. Let's learn. It's a really sharp looking display. Join the charge. If I had to guess, they are probably electric. Fitting with the theme here. Electric vehicles are all the rage these days. Really sharp looking car. Very modern. Cool. Vinfest. Okay, let me go over here. Kia, I believe. Yep. something. Anything that got blocked off, that's how you know it's something you want to see. Okay, we got to keep off the platform, so we'll just keep the view from here. Cool. Okay, so that's the Niro, Nero, H-E-V. And then something similar in white. Cool. He always makes really good looking colors like that. That's a nice gray there. Some more Kias. Kias, Kias, Kias. Some infinities. Wow, that's a really cool looking white display. Beautiful and it is white. Let's cut through here and head over to Toyota. I walked past Toyota because it's so big, but uh, we can cut through infinity and go check out Toyota. We're going. A little bit all over the place here, but I want to make sure we cover everything for you guys. Look at this is Infinity QX60, QX55 over here. Really high class looking display. These are really nice vehicles. Cool display up there too. All right, now I'll head over here to Toyota. Seems to be pretty large. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, Toyota electrified vehicles it looks like, so we have more electric vehicles. Let's run through here. People checking them out. It's another busy day here at the show. It's great to see. Oh yeah, I see more tents. Cool. So electric outside camping seems to be a theme here at the show, which is good because we fit right in here with in our RVs and our camper vans. This is another alternative way to camp. Go ahead and pitch it right up on top of your truck. We prefer the RV way, but you know, maybe we're partial. Camping gear not included. But that's cool. So that's a trailer built specifically to have the camper on it behind. Oh wow, that's cool over there. Let's check this out. <laughs> maybe we need to get our hands on one of these. Cool. That's a TRD with a camper built right over top. <laughs> Sweet. Interesting. Cool. Let's go see what else Toyota has. Let's go places, huh? Ah, the TRD Pro. They got nice letters for us, so let's see it. I can see why. Nice big tires. That's perfect. Sweet. Cool. That's a nice uh, red, white, and blue truck from Toyota. Wow, they have a lot going on here. That's cool. That's cool. That's almost cold and blue. Oh, that one's spinning. That must be nice. Cool. Lots of Toyota. Let's talk. Nah. Keep it moving. 
And as we head across the way, it's like, ah, even more Toyotas. <laughs> Oh, the Supra, that's cool. Yeah, these are sweet. Certainly get a lot of attention, all these Toyotas. Wow, that's something interesting over here. Let's see what this thing is. The Rhombus. <laughs> Looks like a spaceship school bus. All right, uh, of course, we've got the racing vehicles here. We've got the M&M &M Kyle Busch. That's sweet. <laughs> Cool. All right, now we have some Lexus. Lexus really, really fancy. Toyotas. No, I'm just kidding. Lots of white. Lots of white and gray here. Nice, clean, clean look, similar to the Infinity. Experience amazing. Nice green display to offset the white and the clean lines of the vehicles and the display. Ah, so this is cool. The all new 500. IS 500. Boom. To be. Alright, we're gonna keep it moving because there's still a lot going on here. Very busy here, as you can see. Cool, and then we'll work all the way back around to Lincoln. Lincoln is real nice too. They've really you know, upgraded their game lately. In the last few years. Really high quality car. Wow, here's a Continental Mark II. That's cool. Hyundai's being tested over there. Yeah, flying by a skirt. That's cool. There's all sorts of test drive tracks throughout the displays here, which is really good. So you can get a feel for how these, you know, how these vehicles drive. And there's the back end of the Lincoln. What do we have over here? Rolls Royce, looks like. And that's a nice, nice Lincoln. All right, so over there we've got Jeep, Dodge, Chrysler. Let's do it, check it out. So we'll actually start right here. Excuse me. Rolls Royce. looking cars there. All 
All right, as we work our way over here, we have some Jeeps. Who doesn't like a Jeep? Jeeps are cool because they, you know, they evolve with the colors and some of the designs, but you always know a Jeep when you see a Jeep. There's no question about it, usually. Jeep is a Jeep. We have some Ram trucks here. Cool, let's run around back here. Fiat. SRT. I think that's just about it for this level up here. So let's head down to level one where the electric vehicle track is and let's go check out the Colton RV display. Cool, so we got more cars here. We've got Porsche. And then some back in the as well. This way to the exit. Oh, here's a Lambo. Lamborghini. Nice. Ooh, that green. Wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Picture worthy. All right, let's go. You want to go this way? Sure. Let's head on down. Okay. Can we get down that way? Yeah, I'm sure. Let's try it. Oh no, maybe not. Okay. We'll keep it moving this way. Ah, okay, so we want to head back a little bit. We will. So we want to get down back to level one. Main floor here is obviously all, uh, you know, big car manufacturers, big car brands, uh, all names you recognize. Downstairs is more specialty vehicles, utility vehicles, and again, the electric test track, which is where you can try all the electric vehicles. And that's right where you'll find the Colton RV display where we have Gretsch Class B motorhomes on display. Really beautiful building. The lights are awesome. Everything looks great. Here we go. This is what we want. 
Let's head on down and then get over to level one. Here we go. Beautiful day in the city. People have been in and out all day, all week. And then over here, we'll follow this sign, the EV test track, which part with participating manufacturers and Colton RV. So that's where we'll head. Welcome, thanks. So you'll probably almost immediately hear the wheels squealing in the test track uh, all day, right by our display. You can sit there and listen to it. So here we have participating manufacturers, Chevy, Kia, Volvo, Volkswagen, the VinFast again, Nissan, in the EV. So there's some new brands getting into the, uh, the game here, of course. Yes, pardon me. All right, here we have the test track. It's pretty cool. People are down here driving around the electric vehicles, testing them all out. There they go. Some people are really driving fast. It's awesome. Cool. Okay, now we've reached level one, which is where you'll find some more of the electric vehicles, different kind of vehicles. Let's see, as you can see, cars are flying by. Sweet. So down here we have different wraps, vehicle wraps, you know, different paint jobs and things like that for your vehicles. And uh, my personal favorite part we're coming up on here, we have the Colton RV display. We are representing Gretsch RV, as you'll see here in just one second. Gretsch actually was originally a limousine and limo bus company. So really high quality luxury you know, convenience and features and comfortability are really what they're after. And we brought with us these awesome Class B motorhomes. These are camper vans, right? So this first one that already has a lot of attention is the Strata. The Strata Lounge is their flagship Class B. It's got maximum luxury, maximum comfort, ultra leather seats, memory foam couch that folds down in the back, LED accent lighting like it's a limo, and it's built for the road. This thing is ready to drive, ready to rock. And the other one that we have here is the Gretsch Turismo Ion 4x4. So this one, similar in convenience and features to the Strata. It's just a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact, more agile, as a good word for it, than the Strata. It's built uh, for the road or off-road. So if you've got, you know, if you want to do a little more adventuring necessarily in this, then you can take this off-road. The 4x4 really makes this a durable, durable vehicle. Um, and as you can see, all the way across our display, we have what it looks like to be a part of the Gretsch van and it's drawing lots, lots of interest as you can see people trying to get in here to see the Turismo as well. 